We are D and Allie. Come along and join us aboard Journey. Oh, yeah. Seasons change. No promise of tomorrow, but that's okay. Just live in the moment day by day. Happy anniversary to us. To celebrate 33 years of marriage, we decided to take a trip over to Cozumel and El Celio to explore what we have read as one of the most beautiful places, and it did not disappoint. We left Puerto Aventuras early and headed across the Yucatan Current. It was a smooth ride, and as we came into El Celio, we did not see a tremendous amount of boats yet. Mostly dive boats and one other private vessel anchored. We crossed the reef and headed into about six feet of water in a beautiful sandbar to anchor journey for the day. After a swim around the boat, we dropped Shelby and headed in first to the isolated pristine beaches. It was beautiful to walk along a beach that is on the leeward side without sargassum to ruin the beach and create that foul smell. Journey was stunning in the crystal blue water as we shot pictures from the shores. We saw more boats coming into the sandbar near us, so we headed up there to hang out, swim around with the rays and the fish. Next we head out to the reef, catching a glimpse of a turtle underway swimming by. The water is so clear, you can clearly see the bottom in 20 to 40 feet. It was beautiful snorkeling in the crystal clear blue water and seeing the bigger fish that this reef provides for. Now you won't be able to tell it, but this water is so clear. It's at least 30 feet deep. You can see all the way to the bottom. So we are at El Cilio, which is a uh, south tip of Cozumel. And there's a cruise ship in Cozumel, at least one we could see coming across today from Puerto Aventuras. But, so we're assuming that it is a Saturday. Over the last hour, this place has really gone from hardly anyone or a lot of just dive boats that were out on the reef to Lots of partying in the shallow sandbars. Which there's some fish and some rays that hang around in there. But the water is just stunning here. We didn't see any starfish, which is what, how it got its name. Um, but we saw um, an area just, actually just right by that mooring ball right there that had like the most conch I've ever seen in the water which is only like six or seven but they were all in one place it was crazy but I've never seen that we've seen two turtles today and quite a few rays and some new fish if you can see in the background the fires we've been waking to that smell every morning but it usually goes away but it looks like it's still burning today, so we'll see as we head back, because we're headed right back to those fires. <laughs> so where PA will be. The water is just crystal clear when you're in it. It's like you're not even in water. It's so pretty. And all the different shades, you can see the depth changes. Because that dark blue out there, hmm, that's probably six, seven, headed to a thousand.
Now it's time to fly Chicken Hawk so we can share this magical place. I read a, quite a few websites to get some information about El Cilio, and one of my favorite was Cozumel Travel Online and the El Cilio Beach section. El Cilio is a starfish sanctuary located in the southern part of Cozumel, or the locals usually say Cozumel Island. El Cilio means sky or heaven in Spanish. It was named for the hundreds of starfish that can be found in the areas of shallow sandbars around El Cilio. This area is known as one of the best snorkeling in Mexico. The starfish located here are like the ones I found in the marina and cannot be exposed to air or they will suffocate and die. They are very delicate but beautiful creatures to see in their habitat of the crystal clear waters of the Caribbean. Yes, I need a GoPro. Mine died at the Dry Tortugas, and this is the best we can do for this trip. And on the next trip, we hope to spend the night and maybe find those starfish we missed this time. We are living in the moment, capturing enjoyment. Oh, oh. We are living in the moment, life full of enjoyment.